Hi, in this video series, we will see the coding problems for campus selection and the approach to solving the problems. There are three algorithm strategies to approach the solution to the problem. First, walk through brute force. After writing a brute force algorithm, we will see the base case in the problem. This is the bottleneck of the problem. Does our algorithm contains any unnecessary or duplicate work? If yes, then remove them. Next, we will look up for space and time complexities. The very first approach to any solution should be the hash table as it has a constant time lookup. After writing the solution, check for the large and more generic input. This will remove the possibility of errors. So remember these strategies and now let's jump into previous year's problems. These are the previous year's questions of TCS. So first question is segregate 0 and 1s. Write a program to segregate zeros and 1s. You are given an array of zeros and 1s in random order. Segregate zeros on the left side and ones on the right side of the array. Sample input and output is also given. So firstly, we will collect all the data given in the question. So we are given an array. This is our first information. So Second information is array consists of zeros and ones. Okay. So this is our second information. Any other information? We have to return the arrays with zeros on the left side and ones on the right side. Okay. So this is what we have to return. So the first thought that comes into our mind is sorting the array. There are the inbuilt methods for sorting the array in almost every programming language or at least in Python and Java. So if we use that in our code, it will be done in a single line. But the worst time complexity of sorting an array is O of and log n. So our time complexity will be O of and log n and it will require no extra space so our space complexity will be o of 1 so let's try to come in o of n time the next approach could be making a new array of the same length as the given array and pushing all the zeros in the beginning and fill the remaining places with 1 in this approach we will have to iterate through the array nearly once so the time complexity will be O of n and we are using an extra space for the new array so the space complexity will be O of n so in this case our time and space both complexities are O of n here our time becomes efficient but our space becomes inefficient okay so our next thought will be for an in-place solution. Here we will rearrange the array without using extra space. Although we can use an extra variable for the temporary purpose, this will not increase our space complexity and our time complexity will be O of n and the space complexity will be O of 1. Okay. So in this approach we can use two pointers for iterating over the array one pointer will start from index 0 and the other will start from the end index that is length of the array minus 1 and we will iterate until our left pointer overlaps the right pointer yeah so it makes more sense right so we will see this method only so let's start we have three possibilities in here number one when the value of the index at left is 0 then we will simply increase the left pointer 
when the value of the index at right is equal to 1 then we will decrease the right pointer and when either of the values is not in the correct place at the same time left is at less than right then we will replace the left value by 0 and right by 1 and increment the left by 1 and decrement the right by 1. So let's see the example. For this case when left is at 0 and right is at last position value of array left is equal to 0 and at the same time left is less than right then we will simply increment the left pointer by 1 when the value of array of right is equal to 1 and left is less than right then we will simply decrease the right by 1 so now our left pointer is at position 1 and our right pointer is at index 6 and also the value of left should be 0 and the value of right should be 1 so neither of these cases will come true so our left is less than right then we will assign the value of array of left to 0 and array of right to 1 and at the same time we will increment the left pointer and decrement the right pointer so now our left pointer is at position 2 and right pointer is at position 5 value of right is correct but the value of left is not correct according to line 1 this will not be the case because array of left is not equal to 0 but array of right is equal to 1 so this will be the case and until the value of right is not equal to 1 we will decrement the right so we will decrement the right by 1 and after that the right pointer will be at position 4 and none of these cases will come true and here left is less than right condition true so we will assign the value of left to 0 and right to 1 and at the same time increment the left pointer and decrease the right one so now this will be the case and here our left and right pointers are at the same position so we will come out of the loop okay uh, the time complexity of the solution will be O of n because we are iterating the half of the array but O of n by 2 is equal to O of n so the time complexity will be O of n and we are not using any extra space so the space complexity is equal to O of 1 so now let's see this in code open add it plus also i suggest you to use low end editors so that you can remember more in the exam we will see this code in java language okay so make a new class make a separate method for the given task don't merge its logic in the main method okay so make a new method let's name it segregate this will include the parameters array and the size of the array as we see we will have two helper variables left and right and initialize them and while left is less than right the codes that we saw in these slides we are increasing the value of left and right inside while loop so we have to check that whether left is less than right or not every time and then we will return the array itself now I have to check for different test cases 
so I will use the scanner object for taking the input so so first we will input the length of the array int length sc dot next int and for for the array we have to use the for loop int i equal to 0 i less than length i plus plus we have to also initialize the array int r equal to new int length of the array so r of i will be equal to sc dot next int okay so this is our input and now let's call segregate method so it will return us the array r and length of the array so this will return us the desired array i equal to 0 i less than length i plus plus system out print ln print and not print ln r of i separated by space okay that's it so now we can we are ready to run our code also we have to import the scanner class java.util.scanner now we are ready so java c segregate dot code is compiled successfully So this is waiting for our input okay so first input is length of the string and then the values of the array so it should be 0 and 1 only so this is my input and now let's see okay so we are getting the correct output we can check for two or three more test cases if we have length of if we have array of length 0 then let's see the input for length 20 okay so we are getting the correct output now you see what is the approach for solving any problem okay so that's it we will see more problems in the further lectures thank you